full stage and I want to um, have the ladies. So we're going to take 10 minutes for anyone in the audience who has questions. Um, microphone? I know, right? It's, it's so low. Me, 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 me. Okay. So are there anyone who have questions? Please just come up. Come up because I don't. Or you can just stand. It's fine. You can stand. Um, hi, my name is Sasha Flores. I recently acquired a management position at my job, and it's been an adjustment period, and I just wanted to see if there are any pointers that you have for me. I know that this was like a test for me from God to step into my destiny, which is to own my own business. So I just wanted to see if there were some pointers on, like, thickening your skin, like, whatever you have, whatever pointers. I would recommend getting a mentor, somebody that's in a place where you are now, that have been there, um, because it's great to surround yourself with people who are going to help you propel you. Unfortunately, there are going to be other people that are kind of keeping That's why there's so much no shade. So I would just go for somebody who, you know, somebody you can trust, that you can um, maybe pour your heart out to. Um, have a mentor and also have someone you can talk to. Um, I'll answer. This is not only for you, but for everyone in the room. Um, if you're working a nine to five, um, don't just do your job, create the jobs. Mm -hmm. Because when we look at resumes, it isn't just about the work that you've done, it's about measuring your success, mm -hmm. um, quantitative data. So create projects so that you can continue to build your resume and hone in on your skills. And just like she mentioned, um, definitely get a mentor. Yes. Um, any other questions? So where do you find a mentor? You can look at your, in your church. And we talked about social media. So if you start to, don't just be on social media liking stuff. <laughs> you know, utilize social media because you want to build your brand. Start to build connections and expand your network. So then once you start following someone and you start these idle conversations, they should have the potential to grow. If you don't find your conversations growing, you're doing something wrong and they really don't care. So if you're, you know, conversing with someone for a, an extended amount of time and they're doing what you are current, what you want to do, ask them, would you be my mentor? That's all it takes is just asking. <laughs> I want to say something about that. Um, I, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, it's so crucial for you to have a mentor. And knowing the difference between a mentor and a sponsor, there are two different things. A mentor, you literally have to be able to have those honest conversations with that person, someone that you can really take off the mask with and explain to them the challenge that you're facing why you're facing them, and for them to be able to give you honest feedback. So with a mentor, you can't have those superficial conversations because they're not going to know how to diagnose the problem you're having and to give you real advice. You know, there's a reason why you're feeling uncomfortable right now with this decision. So that mentor should be someone that you can really be open with and say, hey, really, this is why I'm feeling like this, and they can relate to you also. So it, a mentor doesn't have to be the same gender, it does, they don't have to be the same race, but they do have to be someone who can relate to where you at in your path and where you're trying to go. And with the sponsor, that's just someone, you know, if you need a promotion, if you need a recommendation, someone that can literally sponsor you, where, I don't know, I guess you can have those superficial conversations, but a mentor, really is very crucial and it's very important for you to have a good mentor. I just wanted to add something too. It's something I just recently learned as well. Um, that's my mentor right here on the stage and I also just got a business consultant. Sometimes people confuse the two, you know, because you can you go to your mentor like I go to her. Of course I let her know like when I was planning this event I was just like, you know, Sonia I have this idea, you know, and she helped me with, with putting this together. But then I have a business consultant that is really geared towards helping me build my business and generating profit. And you have to understand the difference between the two and the importance of the two. For if for someone who is trying to start something on the side or you know make it their full time thing, you need a mentor and you need a business consultant if you're trying to start something. All right. Was there any more questions? Oh, go ahead. I just want to 
wanted to add that mentors are so important, but you need to have mentors in every area of your life. Um, and it's always good to get second opinions, but and, and it does, it has to be an honest kind of relationship or they're not really a mentor to you, they're your friend. Um, but also, you don't even need a mentor sometimes to learn some experiences. Sometimes you learn from the most unlikely experience, the most unlikely person. Um, so you just have to always, always, always keep yourself open because you're going to learn something. You don't, maybe you're not going to use it today, but 10 years from now you're going to go, and it's going to click and go off. But you have to learn from everybody. So that was a good question, Sasha. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, do we have any other questions? Um, Hello, my name is Najee May. I'm a makeup artist. Um, I'm also a mother of two. She's the same as a Hey, girl. All right. <laughs> I'm a mother of two. And I'm the type of person that needs to work in steps. Like, I need to do this person, I need this person. So right now, I'm at the point where I started my own company, but I'm like at a standpoint where I'm trying to juggle being at home with the two girls, five and three, and move to the next step. Like I went to school for makeup. I start, started the business. Now I'm starting to like build my who I am and showing that I can actually do what I do, being that it's such like it can be a watered down business sometimes. So my question is, what do you do when you are at a standstill in your career? Like what do you do to push yourself forward or what do you reach for in order to reach that next step? That's a great um, you may need to reinvent yourself. Um, that's for a business uh, consultant will come in. I have one. Um, I pay her. She's not my mentor. I don't pay my mentor. Um, but it, it's important to have somebody who's business minded, who can tell you, um, maybe a financial person, someone who can tell you this is what you need to do, these are the trends. Ask you questions. Find out what are your goals. What do you where do you see yourself in five years, ten years? Um, right now, we have two kids. So, um, how can you coordinate a job or create a, an environment where you can work and still be able to cater to your, your kids? There's um, another thing I wanted to say. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, just to get back to the, the one more thing. Um, networking, networking parties and networking events are very crucial. You can find mentors at these events. You can find people who can help to propel you to the next level, um, or maybe even have um, collaborative opportunities where you can collaborate with them. Um, if you're being a, a makeup artist, um, there's a lot of opportunities. I recommend social media highly if you're not on it, um, because people are always looking for makeup artists. Thank you. Sonia? And I would really say evaluate where you are right now, because sometimes standing still is exactly where you need to be. There's nothing wrong. Sometimes God tells you to still. Uh, like, so what is it that you need to learn in this moment of stillness so that whatever the Spirit tells you to do can propel you forward? So be in deep thought at this moment as to why you're standing still, because you're still for a reason. It's up to you to get it so that you can move forward. Um, I saw pink. Wait, I have a question. Oh, Are you on Yes. And I just started my separate um, makeup Instagram page. Do you have like I, a, a schedule? <coughs> do I have a Do you post every day? Well, I just start like literally just like I have two pictures and I posted one and then I won't post it unless it's done the right way. Right, right, and right. I feel like maybe that's my what well, my husband said, that's that's what um keeps me back. Like I am so like step one, step two, right, left, meticulous person. I'm not just gonna post anything because your last picture is the best picture. Right. So I, I'm very like Listen, I know what you're talking about. I have so many selfies in my phone. Like, yeah, I, I can't. Just, I, like, I will not pick. And, like, so I just started that. So I do have Instagram and LinkedIn and Pinterest and Facebook and Twitter. So I'm, I'm a socialite. I, I, I do that. You should just part. post every day. Like every day when I come home from work, I throw all my crap down. I'm like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just do this makeup. Like, do it. And yeah. like once I start, even though I'm tired, I'm just like, I really want to go to bed. I just do it. And then I'm like, I like it because I'm yeah. cute. And then I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then people comment and so on and so forth. So just try to do it every day. It also okay. goes back to what she had said earlier. Um, don't care what yeah. certain people have to say. 
You gotta do what you gotta do. You see me every Wednesday, I'm doing my radio show. I'm like, they're probably not gonna listen, but I'm gonna let them know I'm doing it anyway. Because at the end of the day, you might be talking to somebody one day and they're like, oh, you know, I'm looking for this girl with a personality. And they'll be like, well, you know, there's this girl I know. I don't really follow what she does, but I know she does this. And that's all that matters to me. Um, okay. I'm sorry, since you said that you like to plan things, how many of you in here use Hootsuite? Hootsuite. Oh yeah, you can plan out your social media You plan posts. out your social media posts. So, I don't have time all the time to be on it every single day, although I'm pretty darn good at it. But if I say, oh, this is a great thought that I know coincides with what I'm doing on Wednesday, I'll schedule it to go out to my social media sites. I can schedule it. It'll be Tuesday, and I'll schedule it for Friday at 6 p.m. So, Hootsuite. Yeah. Hootsuite. H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E. Questions over here? Okay, um, so my question was... Speak a little louder. Um, I'm sorry. Given the, given the fact that um, the nature of a lot of your jobs are competitive, did you ever, were you ever like enticed to go a more conventional route? And if so, like, what made you pursue your passion instead? You can't see the competition. Mm -hmm. Cannot see the competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's at all. Like, I don't see them, I don't know them. Like, I'll comment, I'll like your picture, your makeup is awesome. And yeah, like, I'll, I'll, com I'll compliment you to the death of you. But you cannot see competition because in my mind, I'm better than you. Mm. <laughs> um, there was another question over there. Yes. Um, I just wanted to know if everyone's information would be made available. So like <laughs> yes, the, yeah, um, yes. Also, um, so we're going to get into a little, um, we're going to give away the gift bags. We're going to watch a beautiful performance. And then we also have another performer. Um, and um, we're going to have a networking session. So make a statement, get to pass out those cards, talk to whoever you want to talk to. Um, and um, I'm collecting an e uh, email, um, everyone's email, and I'll, you know, we'll be in touch if there's someone that you didn't get their information and you want to contact me. If it's fine, I'll pass on that email address. Okay? Um, ladies, thank you so much. Yeah. I, I personally, personally, just coming from me, I want to thank each and every one of you individually. Um, I was on a mad search, some of you know. I was on a mad search. Some people I just knew automatically would be down. <laughs> like I knew, you know what I mean? So I um, and then some people I was like, you know, trying to find them and they're reaching out. And, it, it, and, and like we were saying tonight, it's about what you put out there. Mm -hmm. You know, like this is my sorority here, but I knew, I'm like, she works within the health industry. She's gorgeous and, you know, and, and she's a mother and she's very professional. You know, like you, you see her like in her doctor coat and all of that. So I'm just like, I knew I could reach out to her because that's what she represented to me. You know, so it's about what you represent to others. Um, some of you up here, I really want to shout out Emily and Makeda. They are recent college graduates. You know, very, you know, it's, it, and look at what they're doing. You know, so, you know, we have a wide variety. It doesn't matter. And what I wanted to represent with this panel, it doesn't matter your ethnic background. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you have kids or you don't have kids. It doesn't matter if you're working full time or you're not working. It doesn't matter what type of situation you come from. Whatever you want to do, you were put here to do it. You know, we were created by the creator to be creative. Amen. So I personally want to thank you all, ladies. Thank you so much.